So here I am out here plugging away on a project this weekend. And I thought, you know what? I'll make a little video, why not? I just get kind of carried away when I'm like in the middle of trying to get something done. And uh, especially on these uh, winter evenings when there's not much uh, sunlight, which is super annoying. So I don't want to waste a lot of time with this video, so I'm just gonna kind of walk you through why I decided to trim my fender here, as you can see. Um, I am getting a slight bit of rubbing, like right here. Um, and what I decided to do was take this wheel off, I jacked up this side, and I basically just took my little mini sledgehammer and I massaged this out. And while all that was out, I was like, you know what, this fender has just been trashed. It, I don't, you can't really tell from the pictures, but um, this fender's always been really disgusting because I banged it up a, a ton. It's so matte right now, I don't even know if you'll be able to tell because I got this like camouflage paint from Walmart um, sprayed onto it, which kind of hides all the impurities. But I had to melt this, snorkel, bend it over. You know, I've done a lot of, um, I cut here, and I kind of re-welded it back on, plastic welded it back on. Um, kind of tell this awkward transition that I'm not really a fan of. But what ended up happening was it bent this fender basically all out of shape. I do have the original fender. I've had a lot of parts uh, CRVs, so this was just a fender off another um, CRV that I had, so I can always go back to stock, which is kind of nice, and with a non-destroyed fender. But I mean, I guess I can't anymore because I've done some modifying here. But I guess this isn't gonna go back to stock anymore. This is just gonna continue to get a little bit more and more um, crazy. I'm getting some, uh, uh, what do they call Not running boards, um, sliders. Because I'm pretty sure when I take the side trim off the other side, you're gonna see a nice little smash where I went up on a rock um, the last park we went out to. Um, I also decided to run a, I'm kinda all over the place with this. So anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue. Um, I didn't like the color <laughs> that this was after I melted it because it kind of went all like crazy. So what I ended up doing was took a, you see it was all shiny here and it was like matte here. So what I ended up doing was um, sanding this all down with a really heavy grit sandpaper. Um, and it kind of scuffed up all the surface to have more of like a uniform look from like here because when you went up to it before, like this spot was shiny and like that spot was shining like everywhere where I had to melt it and bend it. So I was like, you know what, what the heck, I'll just trim up this fender. And um, then I was like this side, like why the heck when I just do this side while I'm at it. So I might as well just go ahead and do it. Like maybe I'll just pull another fender from my scrap pile and then go ahead and spray paint it this color um, and then just call it a day run the two front fenders like that and um yeah i don't really mind i think it's fine um not really kind of be all matchy matchy here so here's my uh my mindset for why i left some people had cut it here at this corner like all the way down i decided to leave a little bit gap in because i have this um trim stuff coming for like door edging and i'm gonna put that all in here to kind of get like a black um it's not only gonna protect this from like rock chips and getting like uh, all rusty and gross. It's gonna give it a, a better, like more seamless look. Um, it'll look more OEM like that. So that'll be coming sometime next week. Um, I have another inch spacer ran on the front. As you can see, kind of how much more it's sticking out now. Like you can see right here. And then here, uh, it's not, but I'm gonna run my one inch spacers that I've owned since 2018. Um, I know a lot of guys in the countries like say these things are like, will kill you. Like in Australia, like these are super illegal. These are one inch spacers. Um, but if you get help centric ones and you get ones that aren't complete crap, like these are a really good brand. Um, I can't remember what it was, what brand they are because I ordered that a couple years ago, but um, at the time I spent a lot of money on these. So um, these have held up great. What you need to, you actually have to run spacers if you run uh, uh, tires that won't clear the the back here with OEM offset wheels. Um, the offset on these is uh, plus 15, so I actually don't have to run spacers to have them clear like the spindle here. So I'm just running these two 
see if it'll keep me from rubbing on the inside there um, with a little bit more that I've clearanced. So, and it, it's only like so slight. It's not like rubbing like daily driving. It's only rubbing when I completely max flex it out um, on like a trail or something or if I'm going down something or up something. So it's not like a rubbing issue where uh, it's like that big of a deal, but I don't think I'm gonna be having any other rubbing issues after this is all finished up. So yeah, um, let's get this bumper off. I love how light these things are. In the works, um, in my head, at least not in, in works on the car yet, is a winch setup right here. Um, it's gonna require some uh, custom front bumper menagerie. Um, I'm working out the details with that, so I'm not exactly sure right now. But I'd also like to do, in the rear, giving away all the all the secrets, man, the secret recipe, um, to the Krabby Patty formula. I want to run a rear, so this is a rear uh, swinging tailgate, right? But I want to run this side, a rear swinging tailgate, so it opens this way, and then I can mount, instead of one jerry can this way, I can mount two side by side, and um, I won't have to add that extra weight onto the door, because right now I think this is basically maxing out what I feel comfortable putting on um, the weight for the, the door here. So it'll have to mount like in here and have hinges. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's kind of in my head. And then this will come this way and that'll go that way. And then I also run like a propane bottle on it down the road. Um, so I can have like a more legit setup because I have to run those little green propane uh, cans, which I hate running. Uh, I would like to run just one kind of little bottle for all my propane needs. Uh, dual battery setup is um, coming. I'm just working out um, how to, so I've cleared up a lot of the space now with all that wiring. Some people are asking me like, so why did you get rid of your you know, retrofit headlights. Well, there was a lot of wiring that was kind of involved with um, having them. As you can see now, like, there's really nothing here except this little bundle of wire that goes to the light bar. So this area is gonna become for the uh, the new spot for the dual battery setup now that it's nice and clean and clear. Um, I would like to cap this because a lot of mud comes up in here. Um, I actually did not want to take the trim out of the fender well because I do not want to start getting mud kicked up in here. So I've been playing around with ideas of how to keep the, the inner fender guard. Um, Cause I don't want to get it on the back of the, like the headlights and stuff. Call me, I know it probably doesn't really matter, but, and that's the tube for the, um, how it connects to the inline filter here for the snorkel. Yeah, it probably doesn't really matter, but that's just in my head. All right, anyways, so yeah, that's really all I got right now. I'm gonna keep plugging away at this. I don't have much uh, sunlight left. This is all kind of basic stuff. If you wanna kind of do this yourself, just kind of start taking things apart and figure it out as you go. Okay, bye.